more than gathering leaves, we are coming in with some fresh ideas to fill an afternoon with children. Each requires a storybook and a simple something to do. The result is homemade, wholesome, and just fabulous fall fun. This is definitely a list you'll want to jot down for the grandkids, and you can thank art instructor Kelsey Hansen for a mom and me activity plan to last a full fall week. It's great to see you. Great to see you, Brett. You, Kelsey, have dubbed fall as the best season for reading. It's here. Fall is here, it's my favorite. <laughs> Why fall and reading? Why do those go together in your mind? So the weather and the lighting, you know, you just grab the cozy knit blankets and you yeah. wanna sit down and just grab a book while you're at it. You Listen, might as well, right? Your enthusiasm is contagious. We're gonna embrace that. As we go forward with your ideas for a story and something to do, First, our, our point of inspiration is a classic, Anne of Green Gables. Anne of Green Gables. Nobody helps us feel excited about a season more than Anne Shirley. She embraces everything that she sees. And she is famous for the quote, I am so glad where I live in a world where there are Octobers. Octobers yes. And every time I read Anne of Green Gables, I want to go outside and just love everything. <laughs> it's funny when I th even think about it, right? I mean, my mind goes to the movie, which has yes. so many beautiful autumnal scenes. But you do think of that quote, and you think of that sentiment. So we read the book and then what do we do? Yes, yeah, so I usually find things for the younger kids, but my older kids were getting involved this time and I love it. But there is an Anne of Green Gables for every age and we're gonna make bookmarks for them today. So we are making Anne Shirley braids on our bookmarks okay, that's so that they will so cute. hang out. <gasps> Stop it! There. Look at the Anne Shirley braids hanging yes. out behind the book. And so we have this the is... October quote on our bookmarks. Uh -huh. We've got some free printables for you all today. We're going to braid some orange yarn and slip it through here, and then they're going to be these cute braids. Look at that. So and hands busy with those tight little braids. Yes. Print the bookmark, and you're done. And color it up. And, and yes. color it up. Super simple, great for any age. Love it. Get into that. Right? Love it. What's our next book? Okay, so next we're fully embracing fall. This one is called Hello Fall, and it is by Deborah Deason. She's the author of Pout Pout Fish. We love her. It's a cute one. Right? And so this girl is with her grandfather, and they're going through and experiencing all of the fun fall things. They're picking pumpkins and apples and seeing leaves, seeing the animals, everything to do with fall, right? So we are going to make some fall mosaics with this. Look so at these. These are fun, it's so hands-on texture, it's amazing. What's the base? So we used cardboard for this, but I also have a printable outlines. If you're not feeling super artsy with the shapes, you can uh -huh. print that out on cardstock. Uh -huh. And just use some craft glue. We used a, um, a paintbrush to apply Mod Podge on there. Uh -huh. and dried beans and lentils yep. and popcorn kernels. Look how cute and so yeah. tactile, like they're touchy. You just yeah, want to feel them. Yeah, the lentils are so soft. I love that. Weird, and that would, that, I love an activity too that will stretch beyond just yes. 10 minutes, right? Right. I'm thinking of those this little. This was two days, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> you could come, you could start that, come back to that. It can sit on the kitchen For table, sure. kind of puzzle-like. Absolutely. Very cute. Okay, what's this book? I don't okay, have this one. This one is my favorite. Really? It is my favorite. So it's called A Tale of Two Beasts. Okay. And it's two sides of the same story. So it goes through the one beast, which is the girl, uh -huh. and she tells her side of finding this little beast that she rescues him from the forest and brings him home and wraps him up in cozy sweaters and put, gives him a nice home and some yummy food and okay. introduces. And then he runs away and oh. she doesn't know why. Yes. And so then we get to hear his side about how he was kidnapped <laughs> and brought <laughs> home and made to walk back and forth and given squirrel food. Okay, and that's adorable. So I've never so heard of this cute. before and I'm up to speed on my children's list. Yes. So, I, that's so fun. A Tale of Two Beasts. Okay. Um, it's not super autumn specific, but all of the illustrations are full of leaves and colors and it's beautiful. Okay. okay, so for this one we have two separate activities. The first one, I found this little foam 3D tree house at Hobby Lobby. This is amazing. And it was under $5. And it's really <laughs> standing up. Sometimes they don't, they're not so reliable. No, and I had my nine-year-olds helping, my four-year-old helping, and everybody loved it. It cute. was so cute. We've got all the little critters to play in the tree house, but I also wanted to provide a free activity as well. And so part of the book, we have the Beast's uh, little house that she makes for him. Yeah. So we have a 3D option Look at here. This. this is clever. <laughs> it comes in a flat printable like this one. Uh-huh. And you can just cut it out, 
And I'll slit the middle here, fold along the lines, and then we're going to paste it together. Okay, seriously, I want to make one. Yeah. Your <laughs> my, shading is my inspiring. Older, my older kids are, are excited for me to give them yes. this when I get home. Free printable. Yes, Thank free printable. Thank you for that. So cute, so cute. Okay, what's our next book? Okay, we have Leaf Thief, and this one is so fun and funny. You know, you think squirrels, leaves, fall. And this squirrel, he wakes up and one of his leaves is gone from his tree. Oh no. And so he's accusing everyone. Did yes. you steal my leaf? Did you steal my leaf? This happens every morning at my house. <laughs> every <laughs> Other objects, but yes. Right, yes. And and he does the same thing every morning when another leaf is gone, you know, <laughs> and his friends are telling him, no, we didn't steal your leaf. Yeah. And finally they tell him, it's the wind. It, this happens every year. Yeah. You know what's going on. Yeah. You know, and then it gets to the end and he's like, somebody stole the grass because it snowed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this one is always good for a laugh and my kids like to read it in parts and you know, cute. it's great. What's our activity? So we are going on a nature scavenger hunt. We're collecting our own leaves. Nice. We're collecting pine cones and seeds. I have a printable scavenger hunt that you can glue onto a paper bag if you'd like. Awesome, Kelsey. Or just go out there and find whatever, you know, you find that you love. My mom is the queen of the scavenger hunt. And it's the inner kindergarten teacher in her, but she somehow mm -hmm. channels the most enthusiastic hunters <laughs> in these kids. So hype it up, grandmas, right. and you can have a fun little hunt together. Absolutely. I had my, my kids out there in the rain. It was great. Yes. So you're going to want to bring home those leaves, those pine cones, those acorns and we're going to use them for our next activity. I'll okay. explain that in a minute. Let's okay. talk about the book first. Yeah. We have When a Tree Grows and this book is so fun. It gives two options. You know, when a tree grows in the forest, it could become a back scratcher for this moose or it can tip <laughs> over and wake up this bear. And so it's got cause and effect and silly scenarios throughout the whole thing. We've uh -huh. got squirrels throwing acorns uh, into the road, you know, fun things like that. So yeah. we're going to build a tree. Okay. We're gonna do some sensory Play-Doh play and you can use absolutely store-bought Play-Doh, whatever you want. But permission given. Permission given. Grab that orange can or the brown, you know, it's great. But we're also, I have a recipe here so we can make this yummy pumpkin spice Play-Doh. Pumpkin spice Play-Doh? Yes, it's so good. It just okay. extends the activity, yes. <laughs> right, and so we're going to play with it, build our trees, put those twigs that we found and the acorns and make prints. Yes. And you know, roll around those pine cones that indent here. Uh -huh. On your pumpkin spice pumpkin play doh. Spice play -Doh. So we, we joke about kids eating the crayons and eating the play dohs, but <laughs> now they're scented and, and flavored, right? and I can't wait to make this. The recipe fairly simple. Yes, it's so simple, okay. and it, it took me less than five minutes, start to finish, gathering ingredients and everything. Kelsey, it you smell so good. Don't skip the, the vanilla though. Okay. You need the vanilla. You need In it. the pumpkin spice Play-Doh, you are <laughs> wonderful. Thank you for these Thank ideas. You. So creative, so inspiring, and we love when we can take a moment, like a little book read, yes. and stretch it out into an activity, a yes. connection point. So thank you very much. What's your Thanks. website where we can get more ideas from you? All of these printables and everything is on readwritecolor.com. And you can also find me on Instagram at readwritecolor. You can see what I'm reading. You can see more activities like this. Lots of fun. You're doing such a good job of inspiring oh. moms and grandmas. So thank you. <laughs> Read Write Color will link you from our website.